Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, enhancing workflows with variables in Model Builder. Let's get started. We're here in Model Builder, and I have a sample model. I'd like to discuss variables and how you can use them to enhance your workflow. If you're not familiar with variables, they're very similar to how they would operate in math. You use them to substitute values inside your tools or your model. You'll see on the right here, I have a few example variables. One that's very useful for just about any model is workspace variable, and it's very flexible. For example, you can use it as a model variable for an input or an inline variable for your exports. Within the workspace variable, you can utilize this file pathway or even type in memory to utilize in memory space. Let me demonstrate. By typing in a path to a file geodatabase, I can now utilize this workspace variable for my iterate feature classes. You'll see here I can utilize the drop down and select my model variable and click OK. You can have more than one workspace variable. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to input and then make a copy. This new workspace can be edited by double clicking and then putting a new pathway. I'll be using this as my output location, so I'm giving it a new file geodatabase location. My next step is to connect my iterations to my copy features tool. I'll be utilizing inline variables to set the name and the location. And by inline, that means that within the output feature class location, I'm going to give the workspace location inline. Notice how I can type the variable name. In addition, there's some system variables, such as name, value, and n for number of, that you can utilize. Here we have name and date, so we'll be utilizing the name of the states that come in from our iterated features, and they're going to output to the location designated inside of our output variable. They're also going to output the date that I've created using the Calculate Value tool. Click OK. We'll go ahead and give this a test drive validate and run. Looking at the catalog pane, you can see the individual states that were filtered with new in their name, as well as the date has been added to the feature classes. And here they are in a map to make sure that everything had copied over correctly. So how do you add a variable? With the model selected, you'll navigate to the Model Builder ribbon and head up to the Variable tab. From here, you'll see a wide variety of variables that you have available. You can also add variables to tools by right-clicking and selecting Create Variable. And then you can choose from parameter, such as field name or field alias. Adding variables such as this assists with not only documenting your workflow, because now your inputs and your various parameters are visible in the forefront, but also allows them to be changed easily. In addition, you can utilize outputs from your iterators or even utilities to create in-model variables like we did here with date. So let's recap. Model Builder has variables that you can use within your models. You can use them for inputs. As you see here, they're colored much like you would another layer of feature class. You can also utilize values as variables. And like other values in your model, they will be colored teal. These variables can be standalone, or you can type them inline within a tool. Having the option to convert your inputs or values into variables is very useful. You can use this when sharing workflow, or if things need to be changed or edited on the fly, they can easily be done so here. Paired with the ability to set variables as parameters, be a great asset in automating as well as sharing workflows or setting up tests. I think this is a great stopping point. For more videos or suggesting topics, please check the description below and follow the link. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.